The, the, the key thing that we need to probably nail today, I think, is uploading a CSV file. Like we need to be able to upload a CSV file and be able to review it, be able to review it. And then once we have that within sorted within our database, well, then we can then start running all those AI um, things over the top of it. Okay. I'm looking to build a AI data agent uh, application. The main page en enables a user to upload a CSV file. We then save that CSV file into the database. And then once it's in the database, we're going to run a range of different AI automations using edge Superbase edge functions. Can we just get set up a simple U UI and we will go from there. So currently with Lovable, you don't just spell out everything that you want because it, it, it happens iteratively, like it builds iteratively. So it's, it's only going to build the sort of beginnings of the app first. And then we need to prompt it every single time um, to get uh, to, to push it further. So usually all I type in there is just sort of just the first thing that comes to my mind. And then we just like um, progressively build out from there. One of the things I'm going to just quickly go to as well, I'll show you Superbase. So Superbase is, the reason I, I use Superbase is just because it's connected. It's connected directly into um, Lovable, right? So it just gets you kick-started quickly with a database, which is um, totally integrated into the Lovable environment. Like Lovable will, will basically build through database, uh, Superbase the entire database for you. You don't have to do anything. You just need to prompt it. <clears throat> one of the things I've, I've got here, though, which we'll use, is I won't create a new one. I'll use an old one that we have because I did start this off one time before a few months ago, but didn't get as, yeah, I just sort of just moved on to the next thing uh, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use this one, but we're going to start from scratch. Okay, we're going to start from scratch. You see here that... Um, we loaded up a few things. Okay, so database. We'll connect up later, actually. We'll connect. Okay, so this is what happens in Lovable. You just need to click through these most of the time and it'll figure out how to fix it. See, we're going to connect. What have we got there? So this is called data agents. I think, I think actually, like I actually own the, the URL called dataagents.co. And so you see here that we, well, I started one thing once upon a time. We'll, we'll, we'll start this from scratch. We'll, 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 um, we'll start, we'll start building this from scratch. I mean, this is kind of, we're kind of going to do something similar here, aren't we? But I want to show you from scratch. I want to show you, show you from scratch. But we're going to put it on dataagents.co. I think I think that's a good URL to put it on. Cool. Okay. Wow, that actually was quite good. So just remember, like one of the one of the things that I find is um, with these tools is, and it goes with this concept of vibe coding. When you're starting off a project like this, it's better just to vibe. It's just better to vibe with AI rather than, than getting too worried about every unique component in your application, right? You just want to get the, the, I find, the scaffold of your application. That is that is the key. And then from there, you can um, get more precise on the user experience. But we just want to build out the key functionality here, and then we can, we can adjust. What we've got to do is we've got to connect this up. So... Um, this this is this is why Lovable is crushing it. It's because because the, the the database management is abstracted away. And the, the good thing about Superbase is not only the database, it also uses um, sorts out 
uh, user authentication and, and a variety of other things. So that that's it, even emails, it can help you set up emails a lot easier as well. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect to Superbase. I'm gonna connect to uh, data agents. Okay, so I'll connect to data agents. You see here, these are all the databases that we've got currently. And I'm gonna disconnect to the old one. Um, the other one, yeah, we'll, we'll disconnect. Um, okay, I won't do GitHub just yet. Um, we'll, we'll build, so what, you can connect to GitHub very quickly, but what we'll do is we'll we'll just build it on lovable servers initially, and then and then we'll push it later on once we have a little bit more. Because what's happening in behind the scenes with lovable is, is it's building all of this code for you. Okay, so it's building up all of this different code. It has a, it, once you do this a lot, you realize, okay, they, have, they sort of just have a set pattern. They have a set pattern to how they build things. This is not the only way you can build any applications, by the way, but it's just the pattern, a very uh, common development pattern that they use, which does work pretty well. Okay, and so it's sort of built out, um, like it, what it does is it brings in um, the React framework, which is a whole lot of components and a whole lot of um, uh, prepackaged things for your user, your front end user experience, already already done for you, right? And so it uses those components, it, it builds it out in a certain way. What you'll find, what you find is that a lot of these apps all look the same because they're all using the same um, library, they're all using the same development framework. But that's that's good. We can we can always change it later on if we really want to. Okay, so it found these tables in the Superbase project. What I'm going to do is, can we please delete all of these tables because I want to start from scratch. I want to I want a, a brand new in, I want a, a brand new database, a brand new uh, setup for our application here, and we're going to completely replace what uh, what we have there already. Okay, so this is what I love about Lovable is that, you know, it writes the SQL for you. It's unbelievable, right? And then I can go apply changes and it will just, sometimes it, sometimes the error is out, but a lot of the times it's right, more often than not. And you can you can do a lot of the manipulation of your database without even leaving here. You can just um, get it to do, to do it for you. Okay, there was an error. Okay, it didn't actually work that time. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to worry too much about the website or anything like this. We can, we can. The website is the easy part of this. We we just need to get a bit of configuration going here. We need to be able to upload database, put it into storage, okay, and then start analyzing it. Okay, great. The SQL commands executed successfully, and your database now has a clean slate. Okay, so if we go back to here, check this out. Uh, should well it shows nothing right so so our database doesn't have anything anymore i don't know what maybe this is um okay so we can start from scratch now okay table editor yeah okay so no table so that's easy as that okay okay now that we have nothing in our database can we try and rebuild the database so think about key things that we need think about um data storage so up, loading up a data set and then being able to put that into storage uh, within superbase we need um, a data sets table we need a analysis table we also need a few other tables just just think through what we need and help me create them You see how I'm interacting with the AI here by voice. This is why I think, this is where I think we can get to with the, the, the data agent. I feel like we can get to a place where you analyze it by voice. You just, you just, it's kind of, it's, you know, all it is is like voice to text, but we could abstract the text away and just have like a voice button or something. So that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Okay, so this is, I just wonder if we deleted 
maybe we had some storage before i'm not sure yeah so we actually had storage we actually had storage before so again what i why i like um super bases it just makes like it it separates out storage versus actual database storage is just where you want to store your bigger files um so i'm just going to delete these so data set because i want to i want to start from scratch again so to data set files delete bucket this is how you actually keep your costs lower by the way Okay, I'm, I'm happy with um, what it's decided. So let's just go like this. We can always adjust the database later. Like if, if, if you're building out a feature and then Lovable works out, okay, we need to adjust the database. It actually suggests, okay, let's adjust the database because it can see the database. Um, so it's, it's really, really good at that sort of stuff, which historically was, was hard to bring all together. Okay, so it was successful. Let's actually see that it... Yeah, it doesn't actually share. Okay, so it's just doing it in behind the scenes. But if I come in here, so you see now, we see if you look at this, now we have our database. So it's going to start off with this. So data set files, data sets, profiles. Okay, so individual profiles. And then if we come to storage, did it create data sets? Okay, so it's going to upload the, the, the CSV files into there. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Okay, so now it's working on a file uploader. So where's this gonna go? This is gonna go into, oh, it's a component. Okay, so it's so it's an actual front-end um, component. So it's, it's interesting, like, historically, I didn't actually always go and look at these things, but I do now quite a lot. Okay, so data preview. Okay, so it's kind of doing a lot for us, which is good. So it's being proactive. One of the other things we may as well just do pretty early on is um, set up the authentication. Okay, so you see a lot of people have, so what I'm gonna actually do, what I'm gonna do, I might leave all these, all these here, is we might, you see, this was uh, the historic one I did a couple of months ago, but we're gonna, we're gonna rebuild it. I'll just leave all these, all these ones here and I'll say, can you build the sign in, sign up functionality and authentication? Okay, so the database structure has been successful. Enhanced file uploader components. So I guess that's okay. Now we've got some errors here. Okay, so yep, so there's a few errors we just need to click through. Hopefully, we'll figure it out. I usually find it figures it out. I, I usually do. Like it's it's pretty reliable. But it can it can be annoying just dealing with it. So one of the things that um, you can do just for quick prototypes is you can sort out things like emails. And so what we've got we've got a lot of apps now, and so we've tried to standard standardize a lot of our email stuff and things like yeah, URL configurations. Like all of these are you know already already sort of set up. And so having a way to do that stuff easily because that that traditionally it was quite hard to piece, to piece all together just speeds a lot of things up a lot okay it looks like this still let's just go refactor one of the things i always do in lovable is i always refactor if this comes up and it tells it tells me to do it i usually do it because you want to the, one of the key things, particularly with AI development, is you want everything to be as modular as possible. If your file sizes get too long, as you get into more complexity, it really starts falling over. Yeah, okay, so we've got quite a few issues here. I usually don't need to read these to get things done um, or understand them. I just usually go, like, try to get it fixed, but see if we can just get it working. Okay, it looks like it's almost working. It's probably just a small issue. So what we need to do is we need to be able to click this. And so you probably can't see this, but this is opening up a, a, a box on my screen and I can bring in a CSV file, right? Um, so I'm just going to click on one. 
So this is one from my computer, consumer product demand, and we can up the idea is we need to be able to upload file, and then we want to see that data. We want to actually see that data set. Okay, I'm very I'm very focused at the moment on just building out some core functionality. There is hundreds of different directions we could you could take this quite early on, but the core functionality of getting the data up and getting the AI to look at it, see the structure build the metadata in its context and then we can do a lot from there that that's that's why that's what's so key one of the other things we can do which i haven't actually done um i haven't done here is you can go to settings i haven't done here yet and so ugh, go away is you can actually set up knowledge so you can set up knowledge and i'll show you what what i do for this okay so um i, I usually use that for styling for styling so we have this app called prompt array which um, was one of my first apps that i built myself and what i have in here is a whole lot of my prompts a whole lot of my things that i reuse all the time and so if i go to web dev i have a prompt that goes into my lovable knowledge which does a lot of my um, styling and formatting and so i do actually find that putting this in early so you see here like color palette typography so this is how we're building a lot of our apps in a similar way and I go like this, and I just paste it into here. And then I go save. Then when it builds out anything from here, it will build it in the right colors and the right styles. And so it saves a lot of work having to do that later on. Like you may as well just get the AI to build in the style that you want straight away. So that's one thing you do. You can, you can also do some other things there, but... Um, I haven't really felt like I needed to at this point. Like you could ask it to develop things in a, in a certain way, um, use specific API models for specific things. But at this point, um, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's just see. Okay, it looks like it's okay now, so that's good. Can you please set up a sign-in page and a sign-up page and make sure we're connected to the Superbase authentication? I want to um, have proper um, authentication in the app right now. Can you please also on the sign in and the sign up page create a, a page where you have a pattern on the left hand side and the input area on the right hand side for both those pages? So this is, this is what I'm calling sort of building the scaffold. I'm getting the AI to build the scaffold of my app, sign in, authentication, because then we can, that's how we can get to an MV, MVP quicker, right? A lot, a lot quicker when we actually can have a, like a working prototype, which you could, you know, eventually I can give you a link and you can test it out and you can log in and, and use, use it um, in its earliest form, right? So that's 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 what I want to do do quickly here. So I have some some pretty common patterns that I've gotten into that help me get through a lot of this stage quite quickly. You know, maybe a few months ago I would have spent more time on the sign and the sign up page, getting it how I want. But now I have sort of very specific things that I ask for, and I just, it just gets it done quicker. And so I think that's that's what you get when you when you just get your reps up, do a lot of repetition.